Hello everyone, this is MarkyJo1990, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to insert your own custom maps into the Fire Emblem games made for Game Boy Advance. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to download all the programs that I've provided in my video description. After you have all that done, first thing we gotta do is open up Mappy. Go to File, New Map, and then a window pops up. Each tile needs to be 16 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. Make sure it's always like that no matter what Fire Emblem game you're editing. Now for the second set of options, I want my map to be blank tiles wide and blank tiles high. Basically this determines the size of your map in terms of tiles. The minimum you're allowed to have is 15 by 10. Any lower will cause the game to crash. And as for the maximum size for tiles, um, I don't know exactly what they are, but for each Fire Emblem game, the maximum is different. So for now, I'm just going to be using 15 tiles wide and 10 tiles high as an example. We hit OK, and then, oh crap, we gotta get tiles according to this thing. So we hit OK, and then go to File, Import, and then we go to our Fire Emblem Tile Sets folder. Whoa, what the hell? All those names are really weird. Alright, seriously, we got... What are these things for? Those numbers are actually significant for something. This is the part where we forget about Mappy for now and go to Nightmare. Nightmare is where we're going to open up our testing monkey, as I called it. The uh, F Fire Emblem ROM we're editing. Where's my testing monkey? Ah, there it is. You get a banana. After you've loaded your ROM into Nightmare, go to Modules, Load Modules, and go to your respective Chapter Data Editor module and load it. And then it'll show some stuff. Ta-da! Alright, <clears throat> this is what this is for. Alright, it's to determine the object set, object set 2, palette and tile configuration first set of two digit numbers is going to determine our object set. As you can see right here, it's 16. So we got to do this. We got to go to 16. Next, second pair of numbers is what determines our object set number two. As you can see, it's 0, 0. So we just set this thing to 0, 0, which is none. And then we move on to the next step. The third pair of numbers determines your palette. For this one, it's 17. So let's go all the way down, bring it all the way to the 17th palette. And last but not least, the last pair of numbers is what determines the tile configuration. 18 is what that says. So we gotta go to tile configuration, scroll down to 18, and then hit file, apply changes, save ROM, and then we keep Nightmare open for later use. And then we click on our desired tile set. You will not know what the tile sets are for at first. So you're going to have to experiment with them a bit in the Mappy editor. Figure out which tile set suits your map best. Anyway, I'm making a map. This is the part where you make your map, as I have implied. I already have a test map for this, so let's go open it. Woo! Wink. There it is. Anyway, once you're done with your map, what you want to do is you go to File, Save, and, you know, save your map, give it a name, like Joe or Johnny. And then after you're done saving it, you got to go to File, Export, Export File Name, leave it the name as the same name as whatever you had it before and you gotta click this thingy woo and then you hit OK and then that's all you need for now with Mappy so we gotta X out Mappy now the next part is we want to insert our ROM in uh, we want to insert our map into our little ROM so next what we gotta do is we gotta open up our MAR array inserter let's wait for it to load And here it is. All right, the MAR file, which you just exported. We got to look for it and then select it for this part. 
Woo. And I believe it's in here, FE Maps, test.mar. And then it asks for what ROM we're going to be putting it in. So we go get our little ROM, which is, for me, testing monkey. And then it asks for the map size in tiles. Now, um, basically it's the size of your map in tiles. Mine was 15 by 10, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And then, oh, what's this? Offset? What's that, Mark? Well, I'll explain it to you. The offset is basically the location in the ROM where we're going to be putting our little mappy. So we gotta go open up our hex editor, whichever one you have, and then open up the ROM with it. Load or like body parts. Anyway, you're probably wondering what the hell all these numbers are. What the hell? What am I supposed to do here? Well, guess what? You don't have to worry about that for now. You just need to scroll all the way down. Now, <clears throat> next thing you gotta do is you gotta expand the ROM, which you can easily do by inserting zeros, pressing zero, and there you go, a new line. This new line of free space is where you're going to be putting your map. Now, what is the offset? It's this thing right here, where we're putting our ROM. Now this one, this offsets number is zero one zero 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 zero. So we just put that here. Hit run, and I have to X this out. Don't worry about uh, saving changes, by the way. And there we go, finished. Now we have inserted our map into the ROM. But how do we get it so that we play in it? 